My company, Sachs Consulting, along with two other companies, Suntroll Company and Elite Security Consultants, we have conducted research on exactly how can we delay and prevent active shooters and aggressive behavior from getting into your schools, your churches, and your businesses. Our main objective here today is to show you how we can delay aggressive behavior and how we can increase the survival rate of our children, of our adult workers, and everybody in different settings such as schools, churches, and businesses, nonprofits, profits, and any type of building. Our research has shown that delay is the key factor, but let's talk a little bit about why. What does delay do? Well, number one, delay gives the police more time to get there to apprehend or to confront the individual while they're still on the outside or barely on the inside. So a delay factor that allows the police to get there and to engage the individual is extremely important. Secondly, while it's delaying the person and the police are responding, the other big factor is it allows notification inside the building for everybody to know what's going on and we can immediately then incorporate escape and lockdown which further secures the people inside and overall you can see better response on the outside, delaying of the criminal or aggressive behavior and escape or lockdown and security of the individuals on the inside. This is the new plan for corporate America, for our schools, for our churches and our businesses so that we can increase the survival rate. The number one way to enter a building is actually right through the front doors or the back doors, but it's usually through a door, rarely is it through a window, and it is mostly happening through glass structures. So once again, the delay factor of reinforcement of those glass structures is the key into delay and prevention of someone being a victim next. What we have here is a typical door. It appears to be a typical door, and this represents the average type of door that you might see in a school or a church or a building. But Suntroll Company here, which specializes in glass enhancement, has taken this typical door, and you won't really be able to see any difference, but they've enhanced it, they've made it more security strength, and this door today, as it stands, will have a large delay factor, and it'll hinder an aggressive action, which we'll be showing you here by shooting uh, different size rounds through it, hitting it with a hammer and everything. But first, I'd like John to explain, what, what did you do to this door to enhance it? Okay. Tim, basically what we, we do is we clean the glass, we apply a 7 mil clear security film. So naturally, once it's installed, you don't see any difference from the before door or the after door. And that's critical to the surprise of anybody trying to come through. And then we add a structural silicone caulk to the edge of the frame. That binds the, st the structural integrity of the door frame. It now attaches itself to the film and the glass. So when the glass breaks or implodes or has a force hit to it, it takes that resilience and it takes a lot of that uh, pressure and absorption and holds everything in place. Uh, and that gives you the added time for people trying to get through the, the glass unit. So basically what you're saying is with your enhancements here, they hit it with a hammer, they hit it with a crowbar, they shoot it with different caliber uh, handguns, rifles, assault rifles. Yeah, it's going to put holes in it. Yeah, it's going to crack. It's going to shatter and all that. But the bottom line is it's not going to fall apart and they're right. not going to be able to get through. And hence, what we're trying to do to secure our schools and churches and businesses is prevent and delay someone from being able to get past this door, correct? Correct. And with this enhancement, this is all we need to do to stop them from being able to get through. Correct. Okay, that is great. And you know the other factor is, I want to point out, you know, I was looking at the cost factors of doing this enhancement with the mills and in, 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 in the caulk here, and I, I saw that probably doing something like this is in the neighborhood of costing one-tenth of what it would cost compared to putting bulletproof glass in. Correct. So I think the other factor which we're hearing today is, hey, we don't have all this money so once again, we can enhance the security of a door, we can delay, and we can do it for about a tenth of the cost. Correct. That's Correct. fantastic. Correct. America has now become fixated with this type of weapon and other type of weapons. Handguns, less caliber, higher caliber, bigger bullets, large magazines, assault rifles versus non-assault rifles. You know, and simply, people have been worried about things even like a hammer.
Things such as this, these are called aggressive tools. These tools are used repeatedly to break out windows, to break glass. Once again, we want to talk about delay factors. What we're going to show you is a very simple format in how we can delay and reinforce our structures by focusing on the glass structures of our buildings. One of our first demonstrations that we executed was attempting to shoot this glass, which has the caulking around it and the film on it, seven mils. We shot it with a 45 full jacketed uh, bullet. As you can see, it penetrated the glass, but with this 45 caliber penetrated, but it did not break the glass out. It did not allow the glass to come out. There is no entrance here. Once again, our main factor of delay was sustained with a 45 caliber hit here. Now, the next thing I want to show you is everything's not about bullets and guns. It can also be about an aggressive behavior because when you're talking security for your building, you're going to have more than people just with guns. You're going to have people come in with hammers and baseball bats. Well, what does that do for a glass? The same structure resists the same type of impact. I've asked uh, Tom to come over here, Tom Decker from Suntroll, and I'd like him, to, as I hold this, I'd like him to take a couple whacks at that glass with the uh, hammer to show you the, the strength of the impact and the resistance of delay. Okay, as you can see here, got a lot of cracks, got a lot of impact, I got an aggressive behavior here, but the bottom line is, it's still intact. The aggressor is still on this side and our employees, children, patrons, whatever, are safe on the other side. And on this side, the police are responding. Once again, delay from aggressive behavior. To help us today, I've asked Commander Tim Boyle to come with us today and shoot at different types of firearms. And Tim, could you explain the first firearm that we're going to be shooting at this enhanced uh, glass door? I have with me the Colt M4. It's a 5.56 or 2.23 round. Colt M4 is the military version of the AR-15, which is America's most common assault rifle. Okay, as you can see, we've used every caliber possible on this glass door. It's still standing. Now we're going to over-represent a shooter. We're going to have two shooters here, uh, Commander Boyle with a 45, myself, Tim Demoff, with a 9 millimeter. Both of us have 10 rounds each for a total of 20 rounds to see the impact on this door and how it can withstand that kind of an impact, once again, for delay and deterring entry. After all these different calibers, after all this impact on this glass door, what we still have is denying entrance into the building. Even with additional hits, we have stopped the aggression, we have saved lives, and we have made an impact. Because even though doors are locked, windows are secure, buildings are secure, even with normal locks and security, you're still not secure until you enhance and delay and detour the entrance of an aggressive behavior. Even though this door has sustained multiple impacts, sometimes the aggressor just doesn't want to quit. I've asked Commander Boyle here to give it a few kicks to just continue to show the resistance and the ability to deter and to delay someone from entering this facility. As you can see, 
Mission accomplished. Once again, I can't stress enough, doors might be locked, windows might be locked, buildings might be secure, but an aggressive behavior, where they go and what they do, has been demonstrated right here. With this enhancement to your entranceways, we can help delay and detour any type of aggressive behavior. We're not going to guarantee that the bullets won't go through the glass. That is not the focus. The focus is delay and detour. Save lives.